Hey guys, Pete here. So I have a new story that's breaking out of Las Vegas that is not getting any national attention and you'll know why. It's about a good guy with a gun stopping an active shooter, stopping a bad guy. So it was in Las Vegas right off of the strip at the Turnberry Towers, which is a nice apartment building. Uh, they're not, it's not a cheap building. Um, it's not easy to get into. These are upscale units, pretty nice. So like I said, just off the strip, people noticed that there was like 20 plus cop cars there, uh, helicopter circling, not, you know, police helicopter circling. Uh, officers were entering the parking garage with long rifles and tack gear and stuff like that. So if you look at the news, what they're saying is that uh, there was a isolated incident, no threat to the public. There were shots fired. One person was shot and it, nothing to worry about. That's literally the whole story. If you dig a little deeper, there's some newer stories where people are saying that a guy who worked there is a hero because he engaged the shooter and stopped him. So we're going to get into that a little bit because people are calling for this man to be uh, uh, proclaimed as a hero and honored and uh, it's not happening yet. So one firsthand account is that it was a resident. It was unprovoked. He never had any issues with anyone there. He just went to his car and got his AK, which was actually an AR because I've seen pictures of the rifle and came back and started shooting up the lobby. Humberto, who works in receiving, is a hero. He shot the armed man and saved many lives. No one was injured other than the shooter. Another first-hand account is very similar. The guy had an AR-15, started shooting towards the lobby. One of the security guys had a gun and engaged the shooter and neutralized him. The person who wrote the story says, I was at the valet area 45 seconds before it all happened. Thanks to the valet guy that warned me, there's a guy with a gun, get out. So apparently he went a level below, went down to the basement and stayed out of trouble and stayed safe thanks to the valet guy who warned him. Um, he says that he heard seven or eight shots fired after that. So there's some video of um, this guy wearing a helmet. Uh, when I read the story, I heard he was wearing a helmet and had an AR and I'm thinking he, had, he was tacked out. I don't, it looks like a bicycle helmet and he had a rifle and I don't know what this dude was thinking. But somebody gave him the old uh, room temperature challenge and uh, he ended up on the pavement and didn't hurt anybody. So I'll link the video or I'll put the video at the end of it. I may uh, have to link it to the, uned to the unedited one um, because YouTube doesn't like people getting shot and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so uh, look into this, request that the news um, honor this hero that saved lives instead of trying to hush hush this so that <laughs> we don't kill the narrative that good guys with a gun don't save anybody that it's just fake and it's BS so uh, stay safe stay armed and uh, take care of yourselves guys